Det ser dig bare lige kunne klemme mig ned i. Åh, oh, kender du det? Når bukserne ikke passer længere? Uanset om du er parat til at sige farvel til 5 eller 15 kilo, så nyd et lettere liv med Nupo. Den mest veldokumenterede kur, nem, sikker og effektiv. Hvad har du at tabe ud over en tøjstørrelse? Nupo Nutritional Power.
universe brimming with possibility and rife with adventure. Only the most intrepid Capsuleers can conquer its many wonders. Do you have what it takes to become one with a machine? To explore the far reaches of space, carving out a name for yourself among the stars. To become a titan of industry, amassing wealth, power, and prestige as you rise above your rivals. Or to prove your worth in combat, cementing new alliances and vanquishing your foes on your path to glory. For the rare few, immortality awaits. With Air's Capsuleer training program, you become the architect of your own destiny. Captain, I am Aura, your AI companion. I am here to help you find your way through New Eden. Welcome to the first day of your new life as a Capsuleer. I am now transferring your pod into a ship, provided by air as part of your Capsule. An unidentified communicate. Vectoring escape route. Evacuation sequence initiated. Station hull integrity compromised. Captain, this cloning facility was attacked before your capsule could be inserted into a ship. I initiated our evacuation sequence before we reached the hangar to avoid certain death. No need to thank me. This baptism by fire is certainly not what Air had planned for your first day in a pod. Rest assured, I am here to help. I'm unable to identify our attackers, but they are not currently targeting our capsule. This gives us time to locate a ship. Your pod may be able to fly through space, but, like all capsules, it is unarmed. A proper ship comes with proper weaponry. We must scan the debris for a space-worthy vessel. Now, let's get a better look at our surroundings. Ah, there is a ship still capable of flight. An Astero, no less. I have highlighted the navigation section of your display. Board the Astero now. Our shields took significant damage in the attack. The armor is also in need of repair. I believe the appropriate idiom for this situation is, we're screwed. Fortunately, the cavalry has arrived. Ships bearing air transponders are approaching our location.
This is Balin Ferris, Commander of Air Security. All ships evacuating this cloning facility are advised to rendezvous at emergency coordinates. Several thousand civilians appear to have survived the attack. Let us make haste and join the fleet Commander Ferris is organizing. Your overview will display the ships in your vicinity. Captain, your vessel looks like it's seen better days. I'll repair you once you're in range. Commander Ferris, were you able to determine the identity of our attackers? Negative aura. Their transponders were cloaked and their hulls lacked any identifying information. I'd wager this was an act of corporate espionage turned violent. There are a lot of people in New Eden who want to get their hands on its technology, whatever the cost. Thanks to Commander Ferris's repairs, our ship is almost as good as new. At his command, we will proceed to the emergency coordinates. All ships enter warp formation. Air's designated emergency evacuation zone. We'll be safe here while we regroup. A spot well chosen. This location's cosmic abnormalities will mask our warp signatures from detection. But our appreciation of New Eden's natural wonders will have to wait. Captain, I could use your help. My sensors are picking up a strange signal nearby, but my forces are stretched thin defending the civilian fleet. Initiating scan of unidentified signal. Captain, hostiles inbound. We have to defend those unarmed civilian transports. All ships equipped for combat, form up around me. My sensors indicate that these are the same ships that attacked the cloning facility. Several frigates are breaking away from the pack. They're targeting those civilian ships. This will be your first combat experience. We're too far away, Captain. Thankfully, our ship is equipped with a module that will boost our speed. Target lock confirmed. Time to hit them where it hurts.
That's it, Captain. Let him have it. Another hostile ship incoming. A cruiser this time. It's larger and better armed than those frigates. What an exhilarating way to test your combat abilities. Job, Captain. You've got potential. Shit. Two battleships breaking away from the enemy fleet. They're stopping the last civilian transport from warping away. Watch your six, Captain. They're bigger and badder than anything you've fought before. Once our ship is destroyed, the pod will soon follow. According to my calculations, our destruction is 99.99% certain. Damn it. These bastards have me pinned down. I won't be able to reach you in time. well today, Captain. This is a warrior's death. Luckily for you, it will not be your last. You are a Capsilia. 
for you, death is not an end. It is simply the beginning of a new adventure. As always, I will see you on the other side. Welcome back to the world of the living, Captain. I hope your death was not too uncomfortable. Your neural data has been transferred to a fresh clone body. But before you stretch your new legs, someone very important would like to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Vesper Calatrix, Air's Vice President of Operations. Commander Ferris spoke highly of your courage under fire. You went out with quite the bang. Since your ship was destroyed in a blaze of glory, Air would like to provide you with a new one. I will enable your station services panel so that you may board the ship provided to you by Air. Try not to blow this one up so quickly, but if you do, you can acquire a new Corvette at any station. Your next adventure will hopefully prove less explosive. We have a lead on who attacked the cloning facility, and we want you to follow up on it. Considering your recent experience, you're the perfect pilot for the job. I've sent you a module that will help you on the next leg of your journey. Captain, you can access objects currently stored at the station at which you are docked from your item hangar. Now, let's take a look at the module, Miss a mining laser upgrade. A curious choice, Miss Calatrix. How will a mining module help our investigation? One of our agents in the field has intercepted a strange signal of one of our mining sites, but we're having trouble locating its source. We want you to investigate the signal. But if we're being watched, and I suspect we are, we don't want anyone to know we're on to them. You'll look just like another member of the mining fleet. Duly noted, Miss Calatrix. Captain, you can fit the module to... Let's fit your new module in a free slot. Now, bring the module online. It appears you do not currently possess the skill necessary to use this module. Hardly surprising, you still have much to learn. Now, access the skill window from the Neocom. Skills are essential for all capsuleers in New Eden, as they serve as the primary measurement of one's growth. A more highly skilled pilot will be most formidable indeed. The training required for your new training. I should point out that you can train skills while doing other things. It's a good strategy to always have something training. I guarantee other capsuleers will be doing just that. We wouldn't want you to fall behind your peers, would we? To that end, 
I've sent the air skill plan to your AI. Normally, you would have received it as part of your capsular training program starter package. Miss Calatrix's advice is sound. You should always have a skill in training. Let's start with the more skills you acquire, the stronger you'll be. As you continue to grow as a capsuleer, you can adjust your skill acquisition to achieve your desired goals. Now, close the windows crowding your screen. Let us online your mining laser upgrade. Now that you have the necessary... Turn the module online. Well done, Captain. You can now close the fitting window. Looks like you're ready to roll, Captain. Our agent will rendezvous with you at the mining site. Keep your eyes open and watch your six. This is New Eden, after all. You never know what danger is lurking around the next Stargate. Miss Calatrix is right. Time is of the essence. I suspect something nefarious might be occurring at the air mining site. Undock from the station, so... Captain, I have run several scenarios that could explain the mystery signal air discovered at the mining site. According to my calculations, the probability that the situation is unrelated to the attack on the cloning facility is exceptionally small. One in 37 million to be exact. Let us make haste and walk to the site immediately. The scale of Air's mining operation is rather impressive for such a young corporation. They must be remarkably well funded. It is little wonder that Miss Calatrix would suspect espionage. Further speculation will have to wait. We're being hailed by that orca. You must be the fresh meat Vesper told me to expect. Elias Pelton's a name, mining's a game. But you're not just here to mine, are you? We're here to assist in any way we can with locating the source of the unusual signal you've intercepted. Unusual is one way of putting it. Pain in my ass is another. The signal's bouncing around these asteroids like a Feto hopped up on a bad booster. Can't get a lock on its source with all these rocks in the way. Miss Calatrix has outfitted us with a mining laser upgrade that should clear several of those rocks away. Good old Vesper, always ten steps ahead. Now, let's put that bad boy to use. Best way to blend in is by getting your hands dirty with the crew. Some miners fly solo, but a project this big isn't exactly a one-man show. Sometimes the only way to get shit done is with a fleet. I bet this is the first time you mined with a crew. No offense or anything, you just got that shiny new... If your competence matches your confidence, we are in good hands indeed, Mr. Peltonen. Captain, let's approach the asteroid. Please, call me Elias. Mr. Peltonen makes me feel like an old man. My old man, specifically. Miserable son of a bitch. Just about to... Captain, we're now within range of the asteroid. We should stop here. Sincerest apologies. Now is the time to activate your minor module, Captain. Good. I like to keep things informal here. It keeps morale up. This crew's full of people like me, following the siren song. 
There's something spectacular about a fresh asteroid, isn't there? Play your cards right and that giant hunk of rock becomes a giant pile of riches. You can view your very own pile of rocks, as Elias puts it, in your cargo hold. It's actually ore, not rocks. But I assume Elias is resorting to basic linguistic wordplay. A very human tendency. It might not look like much, but that's not just a pile of ore. It's a pile of possibilities. You can sell it, refine it, trade it. The choice is yours. Now, time to quit ogling your inventory. This asteroid's almost dry. The asteroid is depleted. Harvesting resources is one of the best ways to earn money in New Eden. And if you're gonna make it as a capsuleer, the one thing you gotta know is that money is king. Hell, with enough isk, you'll be able to buy yourself a sweet ride like that venture over there. That's one down, and now, on to the next. Follow me, Captain, and stick close. This asteroid field can be a bit... Looks like you're a natural at this. Keep it up, and Vesper will be offering you my job soon. Elias, are there any words of wisdom you find particularly valuable for new miners? Oh, man. Where to start? First off, you gotta know the difference between raw ore and refined minerals. What we're doing right now is mining ore in its raw state. For someone just learning the ropes, selling that ore is the quickest way to make isk. But you can also reprocess ore into minerals. Take Tritanium, for example. You can't find that stuff in the wild. You've got to get your hands on some raw ore, like Feldspar, and then refine it into Tritanium. You can sell those minerals or use them to build your own ships or equipment. You can find refineries at most stations. Experienced miners get way more efficient yields from their ore. So that's something you can work towards. The asteroid is depleted. Another asteroid. We better close in on that rock then. signal is exceptionally strong in this location. Let's stop the ship here. Just like that. We can whittle away at this asteroid without damaging whatever's broadcasting that signal.
Holy shit. I think we just found what we're looking for. The signal source appears to be that wrecked frigate. This particular model is a drama. The fact that the wreck. Well, we're not going to get any solid answers all the way over here. The signal is strongest in the vicinity of the Dramiel's cargo hold. I do love the feeling of striking gold. Go and grab whatever it is. It appears to be a black box. A device designed to survive the destruction of the vessel carrying it. Such boxes can be used to record vital flight data, but also to store valuable items. That's nice and all, but can you open it? Negative, Elias. Captain, the box is protected by multiple layers of encryption. While it's theoretically possible to hack into such a container, you will need significantly more training in that skill before attempting such a feat. Don't think it's safe to crack it open here anyway. Where there's smoke, there's fire. One scout ship might mean they got... Elias is correct, Captain. The box may contain the answers we need to discover why those unidentified ships attacked the cloning facility. And why one was spying on this mining site. I don't want you out there alone. I'll send some of my best pilots back with you. Safety in numbers and all that. Wisely stated, Elias. Well-armed company will be most welcome. I do what I can. If someone went to the trouble of protecting whatever's in that box, it must be something valuable. And I bet whoever sent that scout ship will be real salty that we got our hands on it. Stay sharp, Captain. Let's dock at the station. I'm certain Vespa is more than eager to see what we've found. Welcome back, Captain. Elias tells me you've brought a gift. Indeed we have, Miss Calatrix. And this gift comes wrapped in several layers of complex encryption. I'll pass that box along to our expert hackers. If they can't crack it open, no one can. Thank you for finding it. Air is once again in your debt. Elias also informs me that you're carrying a fair amount of ore. We can take that off your hands in exchange for some isk. Mind if I take a look? Captain, open your ship's cargo. In order to sell the ore, you must first transfer it from the cargo hold to your item hanger. Now, let's switch over to the select the ore to see what you can do with it. In this instance, we want to sell it to Miss Calatrix. Nearly done. All that's left is to confirm the sale by selecting the appropriate button. That's a nice haul you've got there. I've transferred the ISK to your wallet. I think you'll find I've been more than generous. In your wallet, you can view the total balance of ISK in your possession. The highlighted entry shows how much money you received from air in exchange for the ore.
Whenever an item is sold in New Eden, a tax is applied to that sale. The market entry displays your most recent transaction tax. Once you've finished gazing at your newfound riches, close your wallet and inventory. It's time we turned our attention to a... Captain, I trust you'll keep quiet about the wrecked scout ship. So long as whoever was spying on us hasn't realized we found it, Air will have the upper hand. As good as they are, it'll take some time for my team to hack through the encryptions on the box. You might as well use this time to explore what New Eden has to offer. Have you checked out the agency yet? It's the best way to find things to do. Miss Calatrix is right, Captain. In the agency, you'll be able to peruse a variety of activities, many of which will help you grow as a Capsuleer. If you can dream it, you can achieve it. Air Laboratories, now recruiting. Skill training completed. Explore the uncharted regions of space with Team Odyssey. 